How's it going everyone? My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. And we're the founders of Wealth Nation. We teach go-getters how to own their own lifestyle through a concept called infinite banking. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to share with you seven tips on what you should be looking for when purchasing a whole life insurance policy. Ooh, this is some good information. <laughs> but before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and also like this video. And guess what? We have a big announcement because we have a Patreon account. And this Patreon account is amazing, especially for you, because Darius and I have been recording some super cool videos for you to take your infinite banking educa education to the next level. So we are gonna be talking about three specific things in Patreon. And this, the first one is foundation. So we're gonna be teaching you the in and out mechanics of policies. The second category is lifestyle. So how can you use infinite banking to fit your specific lifestyle? And then third is all about legacy planning. Mm -hmm. So what are you doing with an infinite banking to make sure that the next generations to come are are covered. So these are all exclusive videos that are only available on Patreon. So go ahead and check it out at patreon.com forward slash wealth nation. Nice. Good job, baby. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so with that being said, <laughs> tip number one, mm -hmm. what is the rating of the company that you're going to be working with? Whether it's participating or non-participating, what is the standards and poor or the mooding rating? on this insurance company that you thinking about working with. That's super important to know about the ratings just because it's like going to school. You get a grade depending on the performance of the company. So you wanna know the, those performances. Exactly. The second thing that you need to know is how long has the company been around? Mm -hmm. For the majority of the companies that Darius and I work with, they have all been founded in the 1800s or the early 1900s, mm -hmm. which lets you know that they've been around for a <laughs> while and they still have their doors open. So right. that is a good, good thing to know. Tip number three is how long have they been consecutively consecutively paying dividends? Mm -hmm. Most of the companies that we work with have been paying dividends consecutively for the past 100 years. So that lets you know that it's a strong company and when it comes to dividends, you know that you're gonna be getting one. Exactly, <laughs> and 100 years, that's super strong because that means they've been paying dividends since the Great Depression, mm -hmm. when a lot of people were struggling during that time. Exactly. <laughs> so what are we on, tip number four? <laughs> tip number four is the loan structure. Mm -hmm. So what I mean by that is when you obtain a loan from that insurance company, are they gonna charge you a fixed or a variable rate? Mm -hmm. Number five, <laughs> what is the actual loan rate? How much are they going to charge you when you get a loan? Mm -hmm. So what is the fee? A lot of companies, well, we work with three companies and the policy fees are, or the loan fees are between four and 5%. Totally. So tip number six is term conversions. More specifically, what that means is if you have term life insurance, is that convertible to whole life insurance? Mm -hmm. Or if you have a specific situation where we may need to add term insurance into whole life to provide more death benefit, we want to make sure that the companies that you're working with have the ability to convert term into whole life insurance products. Mm -hmm. And that brings us to our last tip or thing you should be looking for when working with an insurance company is, do they have a good portfolio of whole life products? Now, there's a variety of different reasons that you would use a product one versus the other, like age, health. Mm -hmm. So do they have a good portfolio of uh, life paid up until 100, 121, 65, do mm -hmm. they have a 10 pay, 15 pay, 20 pay? Mm -hmm. All these things uh, have different perks or benefits uh, depending on what you want to accomplish when starting your banking policy. It's so true. When we talk about the different products, a lot of people just think, oh, I buy life insurance and that's mm -hmm. it. But life insurance is just the, the tip of the iceberg. There's so many different categories that life insurance falls into. Mm -hmm. So when Darius was talking about the 10 pay, 20 pay, things like that, a 10 pay policy is you paying for the policy for 10 years mm -hmm. and then you're done paying after that. Mm -hmm. Same thing with a 15, 20 pay, those things are self explanatory Explanatory. But as Darius said, life paid up to 65, life paid up to 100, things like that. That all depends on the age of how long you're covered. Mm -hmm. So although we're talking about whole life insurance, you also want to make sure that you're covered for your entire life. Right. Because sometimes if you're not paying attention, some policies can be written for different things. And you just want to make sure that you understand what your options are. Right. 
So the reason why we shared these seven tips with you is because a lot of people ask us all the time when they're shopping for insurance products, what products are best for me or mm -hmm. how do I know which products to shop for? Mm -hmm. So these seven tips will help you get started within your journey to purchasing a whole life insurance policy. Mm -hmm. And this is specific to whole life insurance. We're not talking about universal or index or term or anything like that. Yes. So those are, there's different things that come into play when you're buying other products. So mm -hmm. again, this is specific for whole life insurance yeah and uh, a lot of times uh, as viewers you already have insurance policies that are with a mutual company that is amazing for infinite banking mm -hmm. and you're wondering what how do I know if, I, if this is right well we want to give you the tools so you can understand exactly uh, what type of policy you have the company you're working with and what exactly you should be looking for exactly because it's right there in your paperwork so yes. go ahead and pull it out of your closet your safe wherever you have it and read that paperwork and mm -hmm. figure out if you have any of those features that we talked about within your current policy yes and call your agent and ask questions Always. <laughs> All right, so we hope that this information helped you when it comes to shopping for insurance policies and also understanding your current policy. Mm -hmm. And if you have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us in our contact inf uh, information below and also follow us on Facebook and Instagram at wealthnation.io. And remember to own your own lifestyle or someone else will. Bye.